But I think if you can get in your head that you need to make mistakes to move forward, then you'll do it, right? Uh, once we make mistakes, at first, maybe they're simple mistakes, but as you get moving forward, those mistakes become old mistakes, and you don't make those mistakes anymore. You make new mistakes, more advanced mistakes. It's a guarantee that you move forward. Hello, everyone. I have a few minutes. So I thought we could maybe do some pronunciation practice. I picked a few words which are supposed to be difficult for English learners. We'll see. Hello, Betty R. Scrooge.web join. Hello, hello. See, we'll wait a few minutes for people to join if they're out there. Hello, hello. And so today is an unscripted, unscheduled live. And I have a few minutes. So I thought I would help you guys out with some pronunciation. So I have a list of words, but if you have some words in English that you would like me to pronounce, type them in the comments and I will pronounce them and help you with your pronunciation. If nobody says anything, I have a list of words. Sama Jetta says, good morning. Hello. All right. Sarus.web says, perfect. So do you want me to pronounce the word perfect? How about this? If you have a word that you want me to pronounce, put the word and put some apples with it or put some oranges with it. Okay. All right. Ferris12342 says the word appreciate. So I'll slow it down. Appreciate. Appreciate. And if we use it in a sentence, uh, I appreciate that you gave me the flowers, or I appreciate all the money you gave me. Okay. All right, pronounce. I'm, all right, Sarus.web, I think you're trying to trick me with this huge word. <laughs> all right. Anti disestablishmentarianism. There you go. <laughs> all right, that's a long word, Sarus.web. Thank you for the challenge. Let's say it again. I'll do it slowly. Slowly. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Mmm. Nice one. One more time. Regular speed. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. And it sounds to me, anti-disestablishment is kind of an opposite in an opposite. <laughs> it's a mindset. It's mentarianism at the end. All right. For everyone who just joined, if you guys have some words in English that you would like me to help you with for pronunciation, put them down below and put an apple or something with them, and I know that you want me to pronounce that word. So Sarus.web said, anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti oh, that's a long one. Okay, hello, everyone. Okay, fair is one, two, three, four, two. Unfortunately. Okay, so the word is unfortunately. And let's see. Maybe it will, yeah, we'll just go. Um, unfortunately. So for an example in a in a sentence, unfortunately, Fred was unable to come to work today because he was sick. Unfortunately. So if you guys want to repeat after me, that would be great. So I'll say it once again. The word is unfortunately and I'll do it slowly unfortunately regular speed unfortunately and one more time in a sentence unfortunately it's raining outside so I can't go surfing unfortunately okay for anyone else that has joined uh, Sarus.web, <laughs> great try. All right, I'm scrolling through the comments. Anybody who has just joined, we're going to do pronunciation today. So if there's an English word that you would like me to help you pronounce, put it in the comments and put some apples with it so I can quick see that it's what you want me to pronounce. All right, let's move on. Hello to everyone. Gotcha Rush, you're there too. Hello, hello. All right, Sarus.web. The word he put is congratulations. And I see he put an apple, emoji apple with it, so I know that he wants me to pronounce it. 
All right, the word is congratulations. So let's see a sentence first. Congratulations on the new baby. <laughs> congratulations on winning the lottery. Way to go. So the word is congratulations. And I'll say it a little bit slower. Congratulations. In the middle of the word congratulations, there's a T. Sometimes we pronounce it more like a CH. Congratulations. Congratulations. Once again, one more sentence. Congratulations on finding that huge piece of gold in the ground. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Question. L-A-V-I. One question. Why do you go only for easy proverbs? Hmm. Can you provide more details on your question? What do you mean by easy proverbs? And today we're just doing pronunciation. So if you guys have a question about, or if you guys have a word that you want me to pronounce in English, put it in the comments and put some apples with it, and I'll know that you want to practice that word, and I will pronounce it for you. All right, let's see else what we have. Arthur Left, hey, greetings from Peru. Hola, bienvenido, I remember you. All right, let's see. We have a request to be in a live. Let's see. Here's another word that I'll pronounce quick, and maybe we'll bring someone live. Ferris12342, flimsiest. Ooh. First, what does flimsiest mean? Hmm, it's like low quality. Something that is flimsy is like not very good quality at all. So let's say you're going fishing, and you have a fishing rod, and we get to choose which one we use. You chose the flimsiest fishing rod. Flimsiest is like low quality. It's probably going to break. It's not going to catch the fish very well. So flimsiest. All right. Uh, Scrooge that web says information. All right. So if we pronounce information, that's slowly but regular speed, information. In a sentence, thanks for the wonderful information. I'm glad you were able to find my car after it was stolen. Thank you for the information. All right, let's see. Baron Xavier 534 sent a request to be in your live video. All right, we can do that, but today we're focusing on pronunciation. Oh, maybe it's gone. We'll see if the request is still there. Ah, the request is gone. All right. If you guys want to go live with me right now and practice some of the words that were that people are saying, that's great too. So I, uh, if you want to go live, we'll practice pronunciation of the words that people are putting down below. And for anyone who just joined, if there's a word in English that you would like me to pronounce and help you with your pronunciation, put it in the comments and put an apple with it. All right, Ferris, one, two, three, four, two. Gorgeous. Mm. Gorgeous, the word means beautiful. If it's for a man, you could say handsome. For a woman, you could say pretty. She's stunning. She's incredible. She's gorgeous. So the word gorgeous, I'll do it slowly. Gorgeous. But when we talk, we don't usually talk that slow. So the word is gorgeous. You might say, oh my goodness, that woman is gorgeous. She's incredibly beautiful. Gorgeous. <clears throat> so, if anybody wants to come live, send me a request and we can practice pronunciation of the words that people are putting in the comments. Permisa Prem 4211 says, what do you suggest? What can we do to lose our accent? Hmm, well... Tricky question. If you've started learning a language at an older age, it's a bit more difficult to lose your accent. However, the more you practice, the less the more you practice and hang around native speakers, the less you know the more you can talk like them. When people talk to me about accent, and I'll give you my experience when I was younger and learning Spanish, I was so focused on accent. I'm like, oh, I need to speak like a native speaker. I'm, it's so important. It's so important. But now my view is more, what is your goal? 
What is your goal with English? Or for me, what was my goal for Spanish? My goal with Spanish was to be able to communicate, right? I kind of, I knew I didn't start learning Spanish till I was like 16, really intensive when I was like 20 or so. And it finally just kind of dawned on me, I'm not going to speak Spanish like a native speaker. And I think that's okay. <laughs> the reason is I needed Spanish to communicate. To use it as a police officer, as a federal investigator, to be able to talk with people. So, depends on your goals. If you really want to speak like a native English speaker without your own accent, then you can get an accent coach, you can do speech reduction, you can do intonation, all that stuff. I think for the majority of the people, the goal maybe it shouldn't be to speak like a native speaker, it should be more to communicate like a native speaker. And that means good pronunciation and being able to speak clearly. But for me, when I spoke, when I learned Spanish and Indonesian, I want people to understand what I'm saying. I know I have a thick accent. My accent is going to be from America, but I want communication. I don't want perfect speaking. All right. AK Ash 8552 says, Rendezvous. Ooh, can you pronounce it? Yes, I can. Rendezvous is a French word, right? And English, we love to take words from other languages and add them to ours. So rendezvous is to like meet someone, right? We can rendezvous at the restaurant. When we have our romantic date tonight, how about we go rendezvous at the beach and look at the beautiful sunset? So rendezvous is the word. And thank you, AK Ash8552. Rendezvous. Basir Rara says, where are you from? Which country? I'm from the USA. All right. L-A-V-I-I -I says, I don't understand phonet phonetics. Can you do sessions on that? Also signs related to it? Nope. I'm not going to focus on phonetics. <laughs> uh, I focus on more conversation using the, the language. Um, I will do more pronunciation. And a while back I did pronunciation videos, but I didn't put the phonetic symbols. Uh, I put regular, regular letters, and then I used other words in English that have the same sounds to uh, help you pronounce the word, that the target vocabulary word. And I know phonetics and those symbols, I had to study a lot of those for Spanish. The difficulty, I think, with having, going through the phonetic symbols is... They, have, they say it has one sound, however, that one symbol, that one sound is actually quite different depending on what country you're from, what, if you're an English speaker from Australia, from UK, from Ireland, or from America. So symbols, I guess if you want to learn the symbols, that's a great way, you can learn that way. I prefer to learn it more by just the sounds and doing it and comparing it to other words in English that have similar sounds that you probably already know. All right. Okay, Ferris 1234, Hirsch, H E R S C H, Hirsch. That's how I would say it. And you guys might say, hey, someone from a different country pronounced that differently. Well, that's how it works, any language. Sometimes when I speak a few Arabic words, people are like, no, you're pronouncing it wrong. And then I say, well, where are you from? And they say, uh, Syria or Afghanistan or uh, what, some country that speaks. Arabic. And I say, well, the Arabic that I learned was Egyptian Arabic. And I don't speak it perfect, but that's the accent that I learned. So, all right. Arthur Left says, murderer. Ooh, drama. Hierarchical. All right. So, Arthur Left, the first word is murderer. And a murderer is a someone who murders. <coughs> right? So, a murderer, someone who kills someone else. So, in a sentence, uh, I didn't know, but there were, wait, I didn't know it, but there was a murderer living in my basement. Murderer. All right. The second word from Arthur Left, hierarchical. All right. Hierarchical is from the word hierarchy, which just means different levels. Like in an organization, the hierarchy is the boss, then the vice president, the assistant manager, and then the regular employee. So hierarchical is describing the situation. How is your system? Well, it's very hierarchical. That's kind of a different, difficult one, even for English, native English speakers. Hierarchical. 
<laughs> All right. Mohammed Gunna Wan Scout says, excellent. I don't see an apple by, but if you want me to pronounce the words, put the word in some sort of emoji next to it. All right. Jordan DP01, how do I get American accent? Watch and listen and speak. Watch videos of Americans speaking. Copy how they say them, how they say it. Uh, focus on how Americans are speaking and doing things. YouTube's a great spot. I mean, Hollywood, the American accent, it's just, it's all around. To be able to actually speak with it, you'll have to copy someone who has an American accent. All right, Mahir Moon, dove pronunciation, dove and glove. Ooh. Dove is a bird, that white bird that symbolizes like peace. Uh, maybe at, um, I don't know, maybe a ceremony or something. People let the doves fly in the air because they want to represent peace. Dove and glove, they rhyme. Glove is what you put on your hands to cover your hand. If it's cold outside, you might put gloves on your hand. Or if you're working, you need to protect your hands, you put gloves on. So Mahir Moon, it's dove and glove. And they rhyme. And dove, D-O-V-E, uh, could be part of another word with a different pronunciation. Like if you dive, past tense, I dove in the water, that would be a different situation, uh, different pronunciation. But as it is here, dove and glove, they rhyme. Fair is one, two, three, four, two. Fain, F-E-I-G-N, fain. Uh, he feigned, mm, let's see a sentence. He feigned a movement over in this direction. To feign is kind of like to do something, make a movement, uh, depending on the context. It's kind of like bluffing a little bit. Let's see. So, Ferris, one, two, three, four, feign. All right. Efficient procrastinator. Modals are my headache. I do not feel them properly. Keep going with the challenge. Keep going. We'll improve. All right. Ira Dijaz says, Bulgari. And. Is that a brand? I'm not quite sure. But Bulgari, Bulgari, I've heard it before, I think. Uh, Baron Xavier 534, sir, please pronounce bourgeois. And let's see, bourgeois or bourgeoisie? Let's see, in, wow, I haven't heard that word in a while. Bourgeois, see, it's, I think the different layers of society, you have the proletariat, I think, are the regular workers, and the bourgeoisie are like up above. Uh, like the ruling classes in society. It's been a long time since I've studied that stuff. Um, all right. And for anyone who has joined right now, we're doing pronunciation. If there's a word uh, that you would like me to pronounce, then put it down below. All right. Baron Xavier, bourgeois, bourgeois, I think it is. Bourgeois. Hmm, bourgeois. If you're not, here's a, a great tool. If you have access to Google, type in bourgeois meaning or bourgeois meaning. And when they give you the definition, they'll give you a little icon where you can tap on it and they'll give you the pr correct pronunciation. And Google is an American company, so they give you the American pronunciation. All right. Fair is 12342 says intensive. Mm. For five hours, he underwent intensive surgery to replace his hands, <laughs> replace his eyes. Intensive means a lot of focus, a lot of details. It takes a lot of energy to do something. Intensive. All right. Let's see. Mio C says, interesting. All right. I don't know if you're asking me to pronounce that. Once again, if you guys want me to pronounce a word... Then put it down below with some apples. All right. Ana Lucia Lopez, 967, said, What a good advice. I'm always focused on pronunciation too. Maybe this is when I was talking about people always want to speak like a native, speak like a native, speak like a native. It sounds nice. I think it's better to focus on communicate like a native, communicate like a native. It's not so easy to say. Speak like a native, communicate like a native. But communicate like a native is very practical. You can do it now, and it solves your problems right now. You need to get something. You need to take money out of the bank. You need to make uh, some sort of business deal with someone. 
you need to communicate. In that exact moment, you don't necessarily have to have an accent like the native speaker. You need to communicate. All right. All right. Premisa Prem 4211 says, My goal is to talk clear and not to hear anymore. You have an accent. <laughs> you have not to hear anymore. You have an accent, right? Where are you from? Thanks for your answer. That's going to be part of life. <laughs> when I lived down in South America, yo estaba hablando en español y la gente me dice, de donde eres, eres con, tienes un acento gringueño, ya. Yeah? So when I was living down in South America, people would be like, oh, you have an accent. You kind of sound like you have a, a an American accent or like a gringo accent. Sure, that's just part of, you know, it's an opportunity actually to start communicating in the language you're trying to learn. All right. Early bird 71i says your post is very good. Thank you. We enjoy it. All right. Efficient procrastinator, the most difficult part of learning English is speaking. I, I, yeah, sure, I would agree. I say for any language, right? Because once you get out and do it, suddenly you're in an area which is uncomfortable. People are talking. I have to think, not later, right now, right? If you're studying in a book, you can take your time. And it's good to learn from books because it builds a foundation, right? Once you start speaking... That's when the true test is, right? Are you able to communicate? Can you adjust? Can you do all that stuff? And we're going to make mistakes. Goodness, I've made tons of mistakes in Indonesian, in Spanish, American Sign Language. I still make mistakes. <laughs> but I think if you can get in your head that you need to make mistakes to move forward, then you'll do it, right? Uh, once we make mistakes, at first, maybe they're simple mistakes, but as you get moving forward, those mistakes become old mistakes, and you don't make those mistakes anymore. You make new mistakes, more advanced mistakes. It's a guarantee that you move forward. All right. Okay, let's see. Shurus.web says, sure. And you've heard three pronunciations for this small word. Okay. Um, sure. And for me, it's easier to pronounce it when it's in a sentence because it's more natural. Uh, let's see. Uh, can we go to a movie tonight? Sure. Um, are you able to borrow... Uh, can you borrow me or can you lend me one million dollars? Sure. <laughs> can you become my best friend? No way. <laughs> sure. <laughs> There you go. So, S-U-R-E, sure, sure. All right. All right. Efficient procrastinator, salute from Kazakhstan. Hello. Stravstoycha. I'm pretty sure you guys speak Russian there, but probably another language as well. All right. Baron Xavier 534, sir, how is bourgeois pronounced? And I've answered that. You keep asking it like five times. Uh, I believe it's bourgeois, bourgeois, like that. And I think it's similar to the word bourgeoisie. And I think uh, it has a French, French uh, history. All right. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Okay, sir, bourgeois means middle class people. Okay, so you have the proletariat, you have the bourgeoisie. Okay, all right. All right, any other words that you guys want to pro... Okay, fair is one, two, three, four, two. It says worshipping. All right, so um, worshiping. People are worshiping at the mosque. People are worshiping at the temple. People are worshiping at the uh, church. So worshiping is it's what they're doing, right? Uh, it comes from the word worship, to worship, the, the verb. All right, Baron Xavier 534, cringy. <laughs> if we cringe... Like let's some say someone scratches on the chalkboard and we're like, eh, eh, that kind of hurts. We cringe. So maybe it's a cringy noise. Uh, it makes or maybe it makes us feel kind of cringy, Ugh. right? All right, all right. I'm just about finished here. My time is running out. All right. Oh, efficient procrastinator says, please pronounce schizophrenia. Hmm, that's a big word there. Uh, schizophrenia, and it's a mental disorder where you maybe see things that aren't there and you have a different reality because something else is going on inside your head. So schizophrenia, in a sentence, 
I heard Fred has schizophrenia, and sometimes he thinks he can fly. So, schizophrenia, all right. L-A-V-I-I -I says, question three, we usually follow British English in our country that also sometimes alter our pronunciation as compared to U.S. English, sure, but watching Hollywood keeps us in dilemma. <laughs> dilemma. Dilemma is another word for challenge, problem, difficulty. Any suggestions on that? Well, that's just kind of how things work, right? Maybe there's more of a British influence in the area of the world where you are, and so that's the kind of English everybody is teaching. However, I mean, we can't knock on Hollywood's door and say, you need to switch to the British accent. No. <laughs> Hollywood is all American, right? So it's going to have American movies. Uh, if you want to watch British movies, go ahead. They're, they'll, they'll be in it with the British accent, so you have... The opportunity there or British TV or British TV shows, whatever. Uh, so English is going to depend on the source, right? Australians have movie, Irish have movies, uh, English have movies, British have movies, Americans have movies, right? All right. Baron Xavier says, Gracias, amigo. Muy amable. De nada. Por na para nada. Let's see. Efficient procrastinator when I try to speak. Words stuck in my head. And I can hardly utter that, hardly can utter them. Speaking is really a challenge for me. Well, what do we what do we know about challenges? It's difficult at the beginning. The more we do it, the more we try. Think about people that are successful, right? Uh, I would I would like to say I'm fairly successful at learning Spanish. How did I do it at the beginning? Oh, woo, difficult. <laughs> Speaking with people, feeling uncomfortable, not having the right word, not being able to take a lot of time to think before speaking. But you keep going. You keep doing it. The challenge is what makes you better. If everything was easy, it would be boring and nobody would do it. <laughs> but because there's a challenge, people want to improve and it makes you better. All right. Harrison Jones, do you speak something in Portuguese? Obrigado. Uh, hmm, molto obrigado? I'm not quite sure. Uh, no, I don't speak much Portuguese. I do know that a few of the words in Spanish are similar in Portuguese. I think you guys still say hola. All right, Baron Xavier 534, sir, how is chores pronounced? Okay, chores. Chores are like work that you need to do around the house. Could be house chores. Or maybe you have children and you need them to do their chores. Please wash the dishes, please make your bed, please clean your room. Chores. Alright, so the word is chores. Please do your chores. Or, you can't play video games until you finish your chores. Alright, efficient. Alright, here we go. Scrooge.web, please save this live video for further study and practice. I can do it. On Instagram, it will be live for 24 hours after this. And I... I usually download these videos as well, and then I stick them on YouTube. And then they'll be there forever. All right. Okay. All right. Ah, efficient procrastinator. We have our own language. Kazakh. Kazakh? Kazakh? Okay. I, I, the reason I said it was, uh, oh, efficient procrastinator, but we speak Russian as well. Right. You guys were, I think, controlled by Russia for a very long time. Very strong influence from Russia. So the language is there. And I just speak a little... Uh, Let's see. See, right now it is about almost midday here. So I think you guys would say Dobre Vecher? Or is it Dobre Utra? Dobre Jin. Dobre Jin? Is that right? Stravstoycha. Ajin dva three shetiri piat shest sem voisem devet detset ajin nat sech deven nat sech and so on. Okay, spasiba, spasiba. All right. Hello in Kazakh is salem, salem. All right. And I think in uh, Farsi it was salam or that salam was thank you or was it? It was hello. It was hello. Salam, salam, salam. All right. Interesting. Baron Xavier 534, sir, how do we better our communication skills in English? Well, 
Uh, first, I would ask, what kind of communication are you looking for? Are you looking for like texting on the phone? Are you looking for oral speaking communication? Are you trying to improve your listening abilities, uh, your listening comprehension? So there's a, a few things going on there. I think just if you don't have access to someone else who speaks English, or how about this? Even if you have a, the ability to speak with other people, but their level of English is not that good, who cares? Just do it. <laughs> just speak. I remember other students that were American just like me and had similar backgrounds to me, white just like me, right? But we all wanted to study Spanish. So we forced ourselves to speak in Spanish, right? So even if you're among a group of students that they're not native speakers, but they want to learn English, everyone can force each other to only speak in English and then help each other. Right? And try as best you can not to go back to your mother language, your, your first language. All right? All right. Almonds447, hello, Mr. Green Eyes. I thought they were blue, but maybe the, maybe the light makes them green. <laughs> All right? All right. Good morning, good morning. All right, Hamsat Amal, the challenge is what make you better. I agree. And if we have the discipline to keep going with the challenge, we can really do incredible things. All right. All right. Okay, efficient procrastinator, pronounce mischievous. Now, I've heard this pronounced different ways, even with uh, other Americans. Some would say mischievous, but I think that's not quite. I think it's mischievous. If you go to, it's interesting you bring up this word because I looked it up a while ago in Google. If you go mischievous meaning and then you click on the audio icon, they'll have a native speaker say it. So that kid is very mischievous. He likes to get in my wallet and steal my money. Mischievous. And some people will say mischievous. Am I going to say it's wrong or right? I don't know. I think it's better just to be able to have strong communication, mischievous or mischievous. Okay. All right. Efficient procrastinator. Your Russian is impressive. <laughs> improving. That's the word. Improving. Always improving. Okay. All right. So Baron Xavier 534 says oral communication. All right. Be like Nike. D just do it. <laughs> just do it with whoever you can. Uh, anybody who speaks English. Even if you're alone, you have the ability to speak English. Does that sound strange? No. You can watch a video. You can copy what they're seeing. The person on the screen says, The lovely horse is running down the street. Pause the video and repeat out loud. The lovely horse is running down the street. And if you didn't, if you think you didn't say it correct, correctly, Rewind the video. The lovely horse is running down the street. Pause. Repeat. The lovely horse is running down the street. Okay. All right. Okay, so I I got to go. <laughs> I find when I get on live with you guys, I have so much fun. I want to stay for a longer time period. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, answer one more comment. Baron Xavier 534, sir, I'm an Indian and I don't get much people to communicate in English la language. Uh, I'm in Indian. I don't, I'm not able to speak with a lot of people in the English language. Well, I bet there's, there are a lot of people in India. Like a lot. <laughs> it, I bet there's someone out there. I'm sure there's someone in your community that if you communicated your desire to speak English and to stay in English, I'm sure there's someone that would want to work with you. Wherever I go, there are people that want to learn English. Okay. Oh, before I forget, today, at least here today is Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm doing the regular live. Okay. And we can have some fun and some of you guys can come on live with... Uh, uh, you can come on live with me, okay? So that would be tomorrow. I'll put a countdown timer in the story. Uh, let's see, Hamza Amal, what if I'm disciplined with no results have seen? Well, first thing I would say is try to be positive, 
right? All right. It's very easy, especially when we're starting out with a, a challenge, to get disappointed and feel frustrated and be like, ugh, things aren't working, right? The first question I would ask, this is a very, very important one. Am I doing the work? Am I putting in the work necessary to do it? If I want to improve my Russian or my Arabic and I'm getting frustrated because it's not working, the number one question is, uh, is, is not to ask, why aren't things going well? It's not going well. I'm complaining. I'm sad. No. The number one question is, am I doing what's necessary to improve? Uh, if I want to improve Russian, improve my Russian, who's responsible? You guys? No, me. I need to do it. So I have to take responsibility and see what's out there. I mean, a simple internet search. How can I improve my English? Uh, I'm a beginner. How can I improve my English? And there are a ton of websites out there that will give you things to do. And if they give you things to do and you don't do them, then, you know, our level of effort depends, our results depend on our level of effort, yeah? Keep going, keep going, you can do it, right? Language learning is fun. <laughs> I love to learn languages. It connects you with people from around the world, and it's a tool that allows you to communicate. I remember when I was a police officer, and just as a hobby, I, I studied different ways to say uh, hello uh, in multiple different languages, all right, or how are you, stuff like that. The place where I was a police officer was very close to Washington, D.C., so a big city, a lot of people. It was in Arlington, Virginia, right next to D.C., People from all over the world, right? And you meet people in these strange situations. Usually if the police come, it's not a happy situation. <laughs> but you meet people and they're, they, necessarily, they don't want to talk with you. Almost always, if I would say something in their native language, it's like they open up. They want to speak, right? And they're more willing to speak with you. Okay, I need to stay focused and get back to my other stuff. I will put this video live, and tomorrow we have a scheduled live, and I will put a countdown in, uh, in the stories, or else you can go to ableidioms.com, and you can see our English countdown timer. Okay, all right, let's do the tradition. We'll do, uh, let's see if we can do goodbyes this time in different languages. All right. Ooh. Uh, Russian is dasvidanya, uh, Spanish is adios, English goodbye, <laughs> sign language is just wave, uh, let's see, Mandarin, Mandarin Chinese, zaijian, zaijian, uh, let's see, Indonesian, uh, sampai jumpa, <laughs> I'll see you, late. see you again, uh, salamat sore, salamat malam, if you want to say like a nice way, uh, let's see, what else we got, French, goodbye is... Adieu, adieu to you and you and you. All right, let's see. German in, goodbye is. Oh, for some reason, I'm thinking Entschuldigen Sie, which is excuse me, but I can't think of how to say goodbye. Let's see. Ovgun Music says, I'm going to probably pronounce this incorrectly, but Hoskakal Hoska in Turkish, and goodbye. Baron Xavier, Namaste. Yes, that can be hello and goodbye, right? Namaste. Let's see, Japanese, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, Ohio is hello, Konichiwa is hello, but goodbye, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Dang it, I need to study more. <clears throat> okay, all right, I'm really going to go this time. And bon nuit, bon nuit. All right, or if it's evening, bonsoir. Maybe that's more like hello in the evening. Okay, I got to go. Ooh, you guys are great. <laughs> see you next time.